Hello friends, so today we're gonna discuss the problem first from the latest code forces round 666 problem name juggling letters. So you are given n strings s1 till sn consisting of lowercase latin letters. Okay, now in one string you can remove a character from the string si and insert it to any arbitrary position in the string sj. So like you can take any characters from one string and insert it at any position in the other string. You can perform these operations any number of times. Is it possible to make all the strings equal? So, okay, so that's the question. As you can see in this first example, I'll take you down to the drawing board. So let's remove this out first. The first string is C A A C B B. So it's C A A C B B. Now you can take any character from any string and insert it in any other character or any other position in any other string. So let's assume that, okay, I'll take this because I want to make every string equal. CC is same. Now what I can take, I can take this A and insert it at this position. So this string will become C A C A B B. And then I will take the last B and insert it here. So it will become C A B C A B. So the thing is now you can make every like every character or every string same if like all the strings are in the form like this CAB. So if there are more strings CAB. So what you can observe that if there are n strings then C must occur n times A must occur n times B must occur n times. So if there are some another B more B's let's assume this. Now this if there are more B's then this like this b is multiple of n this b is n so the total count of b should be a multiple of n or else in simple terms we can count out the frequency of every character in all of the strings for every string count out how many times every character exists and then what you can see that for the count of every character if it is a multiple of n then it's true because you can take all these n character and insert it at the first position and the second position and third position and so on if all the characters, the count of every character in all the strings is a multiple of n, then it's fine. You can like insert it or make all the strings equal else you cannot make them equal. So that's the logic for the first question. It's very simple. You can like get the institution very fast. So you can, this is the code implementation. Uh, this is n, this for every string I have made this or like for all the strings, this is a common uh, array for storing out the frequency of every character in every string. So what you can insert is take, take the input of the of some string in this loop and then iterate over that string and insert the frequency of every character in this vector. Then what you can do then you will iterate over this frequency vector and check that every like number or every character should be a multiple of n. If it should not be a multiple of n then the answer is no because like there exists at least one character which cannot be divided into n groups and thus the answer is no else if you doesn't hit this condition then the answer is yes because every alphabet is a multiple of n then you can like print it out yes i hope you understand the logic for this question if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye